Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we do not have a sponsored video um, not that it makes much of a difference because we are still gonna have a look at a product but yeah let's get back to that um, my most popular video on my channel at the moment is uh, one of these guys and this is a USB thinky that you connect to your computer and then you are able to take in an old analog signal and digitize that so if you have your old VCR you can take your old photo no that's not photos your old movies and digitize them I haven't got a clue in the world why you would want to do that because most of the time you can just find a way better copy of that movie online purchased or otherwise acquired and you can do that there is the difference of if you have some personally recorded videos from your childhood or somebody else's childhood well you might want to digital that before uh, the VCR breaks and it's very difficult to get a new one so um, that video did very well so and I did that on a Windows 7 machine uh, back in 2018 then people kept asking me if the the software that came with it if that would run on Windows 10 and how do I know so I did another video <laughs> with this guy and I only did that video because when I was I planned that I would do that try it on Windows 10 I couldn't find this guy so I bought another one and this was they were like six seven euros they were that's not too bad but then when I needed the plug to go into the VCR I found the other one so I had two which was good and bad because it turned out that one of them had a good video signal and the other one had a good audio signal so um, yeah and with that said it kind of turned out that both of them wasn't very good plus this being my most popular video I've gotten a ton of comments that this is impossible the software is dodgy as heck and very difficult to get the right signal out of the VCR and stuff and I thought well people like this stuff so maybe it's time to do another one and that's where this new product comes into play it does not cost six seven dollars it's considerably more expensive but hopefully it's a lot easier to work with so let's see this thing so where these uh, USB uh, video to digital converter thingies well they need to be popped into a computer and the computer needs to have some software and you have to mess with all the signals and stuff well i tr have tried to get another solution which is this one but i have had it out of the box so we're gonna do a very quick unboxing because first of all it's a box in a box and as you can see this is a video capture and stream series so it does what we need it to do it grabs some video and it streams it or digitizes it and the boxes <sighs> drags a vacuum and looks like the manual is there there's some foam there's the device there's extra cables and stuff in the box that we're just gonna have a look at and I'm gonna get all of this out of the way again and just to get to it right away this is the box and um, the idea of this is that you can digital video without having to mess around with anything you just have this box you connect it directly to your VCR it can, you can put in a USB stick or a SD card micro SD card here and this should do all the work it even has a remote control I don't know uh, really well hmm yeah if you're in the couch and you're using this might be a good idea but yeah, it's a bit of overkill if you ask me to have a brief and they didn't bring batteries for it so we're gonna wait with the remote but yeah my general idea is to get rid of the computer and just have a box that does everything it is considerably more expensive I think it was close to 90 euros but my thought was that it would be quite an upgrade and um, it would be PC independent thought it would be a brilliant thing to test if this was any good and uh, yeah so it comes with a 
USB to USB-C connection. I believe that is for the power. It has a power plug over here, which can also go to a PC. So you can connect it to a PC and it can stream the signal to a PC um, or it can just get its power from there. Uh, so that was that cable. Then it has an, an audio cable because this can record three different things. It can record a video signal, an S video in, or it can just do in and out. So uh, kind of three different things. I got it to do just this thing, but if you like have a very large tape collection and you want to digitize that, might be an okay thing to do that as well. So we also get that cable for the for the video, and this is that's an old cable that you, we used to use for that, and it's not used very much anymore. Uh, it does come with a power supply, uh, which is a pretty standard thinky. And that remote that yeah. let's um, let's connect this to something and see it working. See how it works. I have skimmed the manual and checked out some stuff, and uh, it's okay. It's um, it doesn't, doesn't take too long to go through it. So yeah. Oh, I forgot. We could just have a look at, at the connections here. First on the side we have um, storage. And we have a TF card, which it claims to be able to do a micro SD card. And then it's able to take a USB pin. So you can store your data directly out this way. Not sure if it does an external uh, little hard drive. That would be neat if it does that. Um, on this side, we have the audio in and the audio out. So uh, you can put this between something and it can, it can digitize the audio on its way. Uh, then it has an output port, HDMI, so we're going to be connecting this to my big screen TV. Then we have that super video in, so this port, that port and that port is the video connections coming in. And this port over here, we have the red and the white is the uh, right and the left channel for the audio. And then we have the yellow one and that's the CVBS signal and that is the video signal. And then we have the USB-C connection for power, 5 volt, 1 amp. On this side we have a, a window and I do expect that is for the infrared signal for the remote control. So yeah, enough rambling. And it has a brand here, we don't really care what it's called, we care if it works. And here we have my VCR. Six head stereo hi-fi digital audio tracking. I have no idea what that means. It wasn't too expensive when I got it. And it was, I purchased it uh, when videos were on the way out um, here in Denmark. More or less, we can't buy a VCR anymore. This one does actually have the three signals that we need coming out of it. If it didn't have that, you would need one of these, a scan connector. And this scan connector is pretty brilliant because it can act as input or output. In this case, we're gonna be um, outputting because well, we're gonna be outputting the video signal for the video grabber here. So on the back of the VCR, da -da -da, we have two of those. We have one and two. And as one says that it goes to the TV, that means that that's definitely an output. And that one says that it's a decoder. Uh, so that kind of means that that would be an input port. Uh, I have no idea. Let's, let me not mislead you any further on that thing. We'll put it in number one. It should go to the TV. So uh, yeah, that should work. And if it doesn't work, we can try the tree in front of it here. And that would work with the cable that came with it. This cable that I got here is plenty long. It's not good to have those plenty too long cables for this analog thing, but yeah, let's try that first. It does feel a bit more cable-y good quality than the one that came with it. So let's put that there. Then from my TV, which is on the wall, I have my HDMI cable coming, Oop, coming out. So we're gonna pop that in as well. We pop that in there and then we need some power 
I do also need to go and find an, an SD card for it. I have powered this um, USB-C connector, so if we pop that in, it should have power. It lights up blue, turns on, well, blinked anyway. Let's get rid of the plastic. That's just ugly. So, out, it says. I hope that doesn't mean that I should leave. And we have a video cassette thing that will get ready over there. And I need an SD card. So, they actually have the same little drawing as my setup here. We have the box here, we have a VCR, we have a big screen, we have some power, and that's about what you need. Not even sure we need the TV, but yeah, we kind of need the TV for when we, um, we play the VCR to see what is going through and press record at the right time. So yeah, also over here, it tells us about the storage device that we have that we can, um, the, the USB flash disk or SF card needs to be a minimum of 500 megabytes. Yeah, it's pretty difficult to find one smaller than that nowadays. It also tells us it, it supports FAT32, EXFAT, GPT, MBR and NTFS format, which is marvelous. FAT32 has a limitation of four gigabytes per file. So, so there's a limitation of how long you can do that. So four gigabytes is about four hours where NTFS or XFAT is about 16 gigabytes, but funny enough, the same four hours of one file. I don't know, but yeah, I have formatted a, um, a card. This is uh, in an adapter, so it's a, uh, it's a, uh, it's a tiny, well, it's a micro SD card with an adapter so that I can run it in my computer. This is a 32 gigabyte thing, and I'm gonna see if I can, if I can man handle it into the slot. Um, they do not have a drawing of how this goes in, so we're gonna feel our way. See if we can. That feels wrong, so we turn it around. Which one the other way around? That feels better. Yep, I think I think I got it. So uh, yeah, that is in. And then I'll put this next to the computer so that when we have recorded something. Oh, look at that! It sees the TF card, so uh, that is good. So that's very helpful that it actually shows that there is something in there. And I turn on my TV and it clearly says that it does not have a signal. Please check the source connection. Yes. So, but that definitely means that it is connected to this box because uh, that signal is not something that is on my TV normally. Let's try and turn on the VCR. Do I need to turn that on or I think it might be turned on automatically when I put the tape in. Yeah. No. Does it play automatically? I forget. Oh, that music is gonna get me into trouble. Oh, this is pure nostalgic. Uh, Danish radio. So this is from back in the time where you could have like this screen on for hours and hours between TV shows. So this would be in the middle of the day and they would just have this pause screen on for hours while the next program. Then later we got another channel in Denmark and they started competing. That meant that we got a lot more TV. So uh, yeah, this is pure nostalgic. It's back to start. I wonder if there's any power on the remote. So let's check the batteries. Meh. They look clean which is not always the case. So let's try and press play on the remote. Oh, that works. Oh, some kind of an ad. And then uh, that thing that we saw. So we need to go forward a little bit. And uh, we can use the remote for that and press. So this was recorded around New Year's Eve some year. When it's around New Year's Eve, it could come and tell me which year we are talking about. Look at that, that was marvelous. DR, Danish radio, blah, blah, blah. I have muted it because uh, 
yeah, they play all kind of nice music and talk that would give me all sorts of copyright strikes. Yeah, I have a film of, yeah, <laughs> this is funny because this is a every New Year's Eve or, yeah, this is played on Danish television and it's called 90 års fødselsdag, 90 years birthday and as a filmmaker I have been involved in making a copy of this where we had zombies as uh, as her guests. This is not very well known outside of Europe, but it's very popular here. It's, it's more or less the most shown TV thing ever. Oh, do we have a year? Well, we have the date up here. So we are on the 31st of December. It doesn't tell us. Oh, uh, that just that's just a thing that I've recorded. So we are after 1990 at least so that was a TV series that I wanted to record and I recorded it on my VCR because I thought I wanted that so I want to digitize that today I have already done it but I still have this tape because I haven't found a good version of this American TV series which is called remember I will always love you at least that was the Danish translation so with the video clearly working, uh, we could see this box. Let's see if we can we can get anything out of that. Uh, it would be cool if there was something on the screen here. Oh, we get it up on the big screen. It does go. <clears throat> I get it down here. Okay, that is cool for our demonstration that it's uh, available on the display down here instead of the big TV. So we get different settings under settings and I got in there by let's go out again and out again and there is that and it doesn't show me anything. I don't know if it shows me anything if I play I press, oh it does. Oh. This is very cool. So we are later than 1990 but and it shows the signal in the screen here which is marvelous so which means that we don't really need the big screen but also fantastic that this thing converts the signal from the VCR and to my big screen so so far I'm actually impressed but to get to the settings and see if we need to do anything in there it doesn't seem it, it figured out everything by itself which is not always a bad thing so we get settings video pictures audio uh, i think uh, that they it has a little eye here so apparently that would be if we have recorded something on the sd card i would guess that we could go there and watch our video so we might try that when we have recorded something i'm not going to record the whole thing because that's not what this is all about this is about uh, testing out this device if it's worth those almost $90. So let's go into settings and see those again. We have language, English. I think we are, aren't we happy with that? I can see what else they have. Uh, I think that might be Chinese. Italian might be helpful for Italian viewers and English and Chinese. So it doesn't have many options. I, I will give you that. And then we have CVBS, that's the input source, and we can pick another one, Super Video, AUX, and back to where we are at. Resolution is out to uh, 1080p, out to, so yeah, we'll, we'll go for the out to. Then we have video bit rate, 4 megabits per second what do we have six eight four so we have three options to go uh, with and for recording vcr i would definitely believe that four megabit per second is plenty because as your vcr might have looked good back in the 90s uh, it wasn't a lot of data that was streamed there so I wouldn't expect to have to go more than 4 megabits per second and even that might be a really big overkill <laughs> and that comes with the audio as well so uh, that's 
128 kilobits per second is plenty for recording VCR. But let's see, it does go up and then it goes down. I'm surprised that there haven't any resolutions lower than that. So uh, then we have some audio settings. We have like the volume in 50% and we have, oh, video in volume. Okay, so we have three different volume settings, speaker volume. So, okay, and it says that there are two pages. So this is page two. It says it up here, two of two now. So we have LCD brightness. I'm not gonna mess with that, looked fine. Information bar on, um, that one. If it puts it in the video, I would definitely turn it. But we might have to check that. Then there is auto stop timer, TF transfer mode, system time. We might go in there. Uh, yeah, it's it thinks it's 22. We might wanna, we might wanna up that. There, 23, and the month, I am in, I haven't gotten that far yet, we're there, and it's the, that one, and the time is 10, there, and it's like 32, so we need to go down a bit, 32 is fine, and okay, and yes. There, thank you. And then we can reset to default. We can firmware upgrade. Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, I wouldn't really expect many firmware for this, but I uh, will never know. I might be wrong. I can see now that I've removed the TV, this output port is, is off and it uses the onboard TV. <laughs> and this little screen might just have a resolution that is higher than the VCR can even do. So that's just, let's say that this is perfect and let's go back. Go back there. And that's our settings. It should record us a nice little video. So I think we should start this and try and record a bit. I wanna check this video thing. No video files found, so I was right. It wants to uh, show us the video that we have recorded. So, Okay, we're gonna go out of settings and then we're gonna try and record a little bit. I think we should do that. And, yeah, and this is the Danish speaker telling me what this, uh, what this program is about. I like this one, so um, I kept it. So I wanna, I wanna record from about now. So it's recording, and so I think I could um, I could go do something else uh, right now because it's gonna record my video, and hopefully it's gonna look as good when I take the SD card out and put it in my computer. So I'll um, I'll let this run for five ten minutes or something, and we'll see how it looks. Okay, I've let it record for a little bit, four minutes and 30, 40 seconds. So let's stop it and stop the video there. And uh, yeah, I am very excited to see this. So let's go to that home menu there and then go see our video. I hope it turns up there. We have recorded something. It's 140 megabytes for those uh, four minutes, 40 seconds. That's a bit much. Uh, so I'm sure that's in perfect quality, um, but I'm sure that we could go and uh, convert that into something that takes up a lot less space. So I'm not sure this is compressing it very much. It might not be that bad. So 10 times as much would be 1.4 gigabytes. So the whole film would probably be somewhere just below two gigabytes. It would probably be easy to convert it into something that takes up a little bit less space, but let's admit it, two gigabytes is not what two gigabytes used to be. It doesn't matter much, but let's play it. So let's press enter. It looks very similar to what I just recorded. So let's see it on the big screen TV. There. 
So it stopped when I plugged in the cable. I'm guessing that I have to press it again. And we get it like before and I'll mute it so that you don't have to listen to that. Uh, I'm not sure. Did it look the same on the VCR? Let's check that. Yeah, it's gonna start in just a little bit, but I already see that the same messy signal there. So I think it did exactly what it was supposed to do. Of course, it can't record anything better than what it served. So yeah, I think it recorded exactly what, what that looks like. And the video is called uh, Always Remember I Love You. And that became in Danish, Husk Jeg Elsker Dig. If anyone has a good version of this, I'm interested. So naturally you want to play your file on the computer or store it in your NAS. So I'll put the micro SD card into the adapter and it's... Oh, it looks a little bit different, the file structure. It's where I would guess that it would be. And let's, let's see what it has figured out. Properties on this file. So it has recorded 720 times 576. That's the DVD format. So it's uh, it has recorded this VCR video thing in DVD resolution so that's definitely overkill that's very high resolution for this but yeah okay never mind that's why it takes up a bit more space so let's try and play it it doesn't take up much space on a 4k screen but yeah it looks good ish and it plays as it should and you can make it bigger it's marvelous i do really recommend this tv thing i, I kept it because i like it yes so this uh, film is still hard to find i had another look and it's still not about well it's on youtube in full length but the quality is only ever so slightly better than what i have here so once upon a time your dad would have given you up for one of these it's a panasonic a slim pal recorder the nv rx11 doesn't matter um, but it records on VHSC and VHSC is like these small cassettes looks like this a small cassette and an adapter is available so you can have this small cassette go into a big cassette and then it can use the, the big cassette and you can put it into a VCR I have never had one of those adapters but I have the camcorder that uh, has recorded uh, some of these and I have some 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 tapes and this is from my little brother's, I only have one little brother, my little brother Alan's confirmation. A thing that we do at about 13 years, when we are born, we are baptized. And then at 13 years of age, we confirm that we believe in God, the Almighty. And um, yeah, that's a big celebration. And therefore it's recorded on multiple tapes. Uh, for the time to come and this doesn't age very well so a small fortune was of course used to save this uh, moment in time forever and recorded on an antique piece of equipment like this which of course needs to be uh, transferred to something else because otherwise it will just I can't go get another one of these ah, sorry I was interrupted um, Panasonic camera Panasonic camera. I guess this one got pissed that I was um, I was dissing its grandfather, so uh, it it depleted the battery in no time, and and so that how that goes. So of course I need to uh, to capture my little brother's confirmation, and uh, and do that as well. Uh, there is not a chance in hell that this battery still works. 
but it does say that it's charging so but it comes with a little plug that that goes into the charger and then there is a plug on the back of the camera so you can run it off dc power that's actually not a bad way to do it so it stopped charging the battery so now it's powering the camera instead uh, we need to find out where the connections are because we need the connections for the they have hidden it down here under here we have the oh, the video signal and we have one audio signal so this was only recording in mono even though it's it's auto focus digital ai i am doubtful about that but yeah we should be able to connect this <laughs> yeah it's <laughs> So old. So we put this tape in. Oh, I hope this works. And we press that in. Don't we? Oh, luck. There. Okay. Okay. So the the camera actually works, and it shows a picture. Oh boy, does that not look good anymore? Time has changed. Stand up might have gone up since back then so eh. so this is unfortunately a perfect example of um, uh, all equipment stopping working so we turn on the camera here yeah and we have the selector here uh, if it should do camera or if it should do uh, vcr and i wanted to do vcr because i want to play the video and whatever I do, it doesn't want to change. I have tried to take the tape out and take the tape in and yeah, it's not cooperating with me at all. So at the moment, I'm not able to play those tapes. So that's a bugger. So unfortunately, this camera is not of much use anymore when it doesn't play videos or the cassettes because the recording quality has not uh, aged well. So the digitizing of my little brother's confirmation is gonna have to wait. I have actually just ordered one of those adapters so that I can do it and use the VHS player here. But as those USB sticks wasn't that good, and I found that one of them had good video and one had good audio, I do have my own confirmation on, uh, on VHS here. And um, I wanna rerun that and put it into the to the video grabber here so we're gonna uh, why do i have a, a real old vhs tape of that because this is an older standard than the vhs c this is a smaller standard you could use a smaller video camera so my brother is two years younger than me so this was the newest thing at the time and this was when i was yeah i'm older so let's oh yeah oh we need to eject that. That's not gonna. It only takes one. There. I still have some VHS tapes that I need to check what's on them. So this is from my cousin's confirmation because we were confirmed the same day, and to not split up the family, we uh, we had the party together. But they had the camera with it. Uh, with them to her confirmation and took a bit of footage of that and it looks absolutely awful so that's not a quality that's gonna <sighs> improve much but yeah it's what we have it is dated though the 16th of april i was 13. so here it is at the party where well filming the table is a regular thing I think we were 102 at the party. Two families. So that added up. <laughs> Live music. Somebody on a keyboard. I remember that. And here is my, my cushion. And we are practicing our speech for this party thing. So, yeah. I will. I'm not going to go further into. I'm over there. 13 years old. So. Yeah, there is Mr. Handsome. 
So this was of course for tree for my, oh that's my father and my grandparents and my uncle, all of which has passed away. Yeah, a lot has happened in uh, 34 years, but I think I still have that butterfly somewhere. Uh, the video was 39 minutes long and it took up, well we can, we can get the data here, took up 1.12 gigabytes of storage. So that's not that bad, that's okay. So the video actually looks pretty good on this little screen and there is no reason to use a big TV like I did. Uh, for just starting the video, getting to where you wanna grab it and record it, the box in itself is perfectly fine. So I'm gonna do something that I don't do very often. I'm gonna give this a very high recommendation because I had no issues with it whatsoever. What I used time on was that camera that didn't work on me. I couldn't get it to do VCR and that wasn't this thing's fault because that did whatever I asked for it. It even when my confirmation video was done and the video just had a blank signal, it stopped the recording and didn't record a lot of nothing, which was wonderful because I was ever so slightly out of the way for a second there and slow to go and stop it. But when I tried to stop it, it was already stopping. So yeah, this is 10 times as expensive as one of these. I just looked it up. I paid $77 for this. And since that, the price has even gone up. And then I paid another few dollars in shipping. So I ended up paying about $86 for, for this box um, with shipping to Denmark from China. But it did exactly what I was hoping for. It even did a little bit more. I was not expecting the video to go onto the screen here. Clearly I hadn't done that homework because I thought I would only get the menus there. But it has a little monitor in there. It's marvelous. And even if the video quality that I got out of it was really crap, it wasn't the box's fault because the video that I put into it was really crap. 34 years old video, there's a definite limit to how good that ages. The video quality that I got out of it and the sound quality that I've gotten out of it is very comparable to what I've been seeing on the video. Actually on the computer it looks a bit better because it hasn't stretched it to um, the widescreen TV up there, I was really wondering why it was so bad up there, but as soon as I got it to the computer and it showed it in 4.3 format, it looked a lot better. I haven't messed around with all the other functions. I needed to uh, record some stuff and stop again. It also does photos and it does other stuff. Nichi bitchy, tiny little thing that I didn't get this for. So even if I paid 10 times as much for it, I didn't have to hassle with this thing and especially with this thing the software for these things is horrible and this one doesn't need any software it's just can you say point and click it was very easy we didn't look at all the other features on it because i just wanted to show you that it did video and it did it recorded my video it put it directly on an sd card that i could put in the computer it was so easy yeah, so I'm wondering a little bit what I should do for a thumbnail of this. Um, I was thinking about something like uh, 10 times more expensive, 100 times easier, uh, something like that. But yeah, thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day. And we didn't even need the remote for anything. Awesome. Hmm. Cool.